Hey all, Avros here, back with the next fight, the Lufania for Kurosame's Lost Chapter. This is the fight against two Devil Hornet bosses. So this fight is a bit of a fun one as far as Lufania standards have gone, as the orb for this one, which appears at combat start with an 8 count, is increased by 4 every time the bosses are delayed. So with many very potent delayers in the roster now, this means you can go for a full zero boss turn strategy without too much trouble as long as you have the units built. And the orb, which disappears at 79% HP and reappears at 49% HP, won't be an issue if you're just delaying the bosses the whole fight to make sure they get no turns. Other notes about these bosses, not that these should be relevant to you if you're trying to go for a zero turn. The enemies will target themselves with an attack and when they do so, they will gain a 50% HP damage reduction aura until they take their next turn, which ruins the orb needing to be delayed to keep that from exploding. And they also have very punishing all attacks that are a Brave plus HP attack, and when below 50% HP, they have a double AoE Brave plus HP attack that ignores HP damage reduction effects and Brave damage reduction effects, meaning that this is definitely not something you want to deal with. And uh, while you can let the bosses have some turns if necessary, really going for a zero boss turn strategy will prevent them from getting the aura up, prevent them from getting those very potent attacks. So it's much easier overall if you do just aim to just delay them uh, as far back as you possibly can. So for this fight, unlike some of the previous videos, there's not much point in me doing sort of a breakdown phase by phase, as, you know, basically it's just press the buttons you need to to keep the bosses delayed as best you can. So I'll just sort of break down the party composition of what I brought for this one. So I brought Bartzlong as I'm using him for my current Lufania series that I'm working on, and he helps with a Wind Imperil on his aura that helps with Cypher, who's another one of the units I brought along, as he does do wind damage. And he's also along for all of his auras, his battery, and I also have Blue Armor on him, so that's increasing everyone's damage output by quite a bit. Second up, as I've already mentioned, Cypher is in the party. He's the newly minted AoE Delay King for this uh, this sort of fight. His LD's given him his new Purge buff, where all of his attacks now do a one-turn delay. So, as he also does wind damage, works well with Barts, has a defense down buff, making also just really great in this fight overall. Plus one turn delay on every attack means you can just constantly keep delaying the bosses and never have to worry about the orb. That being said, just a one turn delay isn't quite enough to delay the bosses as much as you need to, so along comes the last party member which is Garland, and he's the old AoE delay king as far as this fight goes, and just in general just so much AoE delay on his kit as well. So basically with uh, with Garland along, he's bringing all of his uh, his amazing effects there, his LD with his follow-up, he's got his burst effect that's really good as well, his fantastic AoE delay, the ability to, you know, get additional uses of that delay via his LD giving him free abilities, and so basically between him doing his one-turn delay on all of his attacks, his follow-up is the huge damage output, Cypher doing a one-turn delay on all of his attacks, his amazing AoE damage output, basically the bosses just never get a turn. You can just keep pushing them back, use your burst phases, use your summon, use everything you need to and permanently delay the bosses and get this fight done as I did, sliding under the turn limit. Not a ridiculously short number of turns, um, like some of the previous Lufania fights with some of these parties, but comfortable enough that there wasn't any sort of issue, there was no problems with the orb, everything was all handled with without too much trouble. An alternative strategy you could go for if you don't want to go hard on delay, bring along some delay obviously because you need it for the orb, but you can go for a launch strategy, just try and launch the bosses, get as much damage during the launches as possible, and kill them that way. Otherwise, I'm not entirely sure what else you would be able to do. I'm sure there is a way of making this fight work where you do let the bosses get some turns, but really it's just much easier to go for a full zero boss turn strat. And with all of that covered, there's not too much more I want to say about this one. If you do need any assistance, feel free to ask down in the comments below. Otherwise, thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of the video.
品田がいるこのやつはどうだ